Hello, all my dear Leo friends. This is Maxine Taylor, and have I got a gorgeous forecast for all you Leos. Um, I, I want to remind those of you who are asking about my classes. Yes, I'm still offering them. Um, they are mentoring classes where I teach you everything I know. If you are already an astrologer or an astrology student, you won't need to go through all the classes, of course, but you may need one session with a that, and you have a list of questions you want me to answer. We can do that. In other words, all of my sessions are customized for you. And all you have to do is go to my website, maxinetaylor.com, all that information is on my site, okay? We do it on Zoom, you and me face-to-face, -face, videoed, and I send you the video after we have just run our mouths. So I love doing it, and um, everybody loves to have personal astrological attention, of course. So great, grand, glorious Leo, let's talk about you, okay? Well, let's start, start right down here with Venus, the planet of love. That's the pink planet. It has been in your sixth house of work, health, and service. And this can be very helpful for your health. It can also help your job. On the fifth, it's going to move into your seventh house of partnership. So if you are footloose and fancy free, that would be the time to get out there and go places where the people you want to meet hang out. If you're already attached to somebody, this would be a time to focus on them, okay? And they will appreciate it very much. Venus is the lesser benefic. It rules love and money and all things beautiful. Now, Mars, the red planet, that is passion. It's war, it's sex, it's energy. It's what we fight with and fight for. And Venus and Jupiter are right on top of each other right now. And so they're moving hand in hand. Venus being love and gentleness and Mars being passion. What a gorgeous combination. And so on the fifth, Venus moves into your seventh house. On the sixth, Mars moves into your seventh house. And they're right on top of each other. And so this would be the time to focus on that one special person. Because I'll tell you a little secret. That one special person is focused on themselves. So you might as well get on board. You know what I mean? Okay, Mercury, the blue planet has been in that seventh house and for a while. And Mercury is communication, talking, sharing ideas. It's not an action planet, it's a thinking planet. On the ninth, it moves into your, your eighth house uh, of secrets, of transformation and transmutation, uh, other people's money. This is a time you become a psychic detective and your thinking undergoes a transformation, which is quite powerful. The yellow planet, the sun, is the center of our solar system. It's the center of your life and it represents your ego. And so it is undergoing a transformation as well. This is a wonderful time to study astrology, palmistry, numerology, all of the spiritual sciences. And you'll find that once you do, on the 22nd of March, Mercury moves into your ninth house of the higher mind. You see the big picture and you're able to express your beliefs, your principles the concepts by which you choose to live. The sun moves into your ninth house 
two days before Mercury does on the 20th. And so you're really dealing with concepts and principles. You may want to go back and, and take some advanced courses. Uh, ninth house is beliefs and principles. It deals with long distance travel as well. I love that. I wonder how it's going to be when we have space travel, the way we have regular airline travel now, because that ninth house deals with uh, faraway places. Don't you love it? And so the center of your life has been transformed along with your ideas, and you are seeing the big picture. You're taking all the little pieces of the puzzle that you got when the sun and Mercury were in your eighth house and you're spreading your wings and soaring. Now, we have a new moon on the second in 12 Pisces. And that starts the energy moving in that eighth house, really kicks it into high gear. Find 12 Pisces in your birth chart because it will complete this picture. Two weeks after the new moon, on the 18th, we have the full moon in your second house of money. And so your financial situation comes to a head. It can bring you blessings. Plan now, okay? Because this deals with your income and tangible assets. So after you have studied and researched, the full moon says, here is your reward. Don't you love it? So I hope you'll join me next month when once again we take a look at your forecast. Till then, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.